very important video for people who want to increase their SEO and who want to clean their Google Search Console. Every day on my channel, I see so many comments about how they can remove some URLs from Google Search Console. When you log in your Google Search Console account, you see the lot of pages here which says why page is not indexed and you see so many errors here and people say okay how we can remove these errors and I already created these so many videos about how we can solve these kind of issues but people still ask how to remove this kind of URLs from Google Search Console account. So I thought let's create a video about it and try to give more perspective about these URLs and Google Search Console issues because it's really important to use Google Search Console properly. If you know how to use Google Search Console properly your website SEO will really improve and your website rank will improve on Google search engine and other search engines. Okay. So first thing guys, what you need to do is when you come, you log into Google search console account, you can come here on pages indexing. And then you see here how many pages are indexed, how many pages are not indexed. You can see 130 pages are not indexed on my website and 31 pages are indexed. And you'll be like really panic. People panic very fast. They say, okay, there's so many pages which are not indexed and there are very less pages which are indexed. First thing guys, what you need to do is take a deep breath and then click here on this drop down and click here on all submitted pages. This gives you much better situation than it was giving you before. Now you can see here 21 pages are not indexed and 31 indexed. Because these pages we submitted to Google Search Console. If you go to all known pages, you should not have this number here. So we need to do something about it. But you do not need to panic. First you need to understand there is a difference between all known pages and all submitted pages. The priority should be always on submitted pages, which we submit to Google Search Console saying that, okay, please index those pages and Google saying they're not indexing those pages. Because when you go here on all known pages, let me show example. You can see 130 pages here. And if I scroll here, you can see currently not indexed and the 105 pages. If I click on this 105 pages, you can see here there's some JavaScript URLs happened here. It is because a plugin I use on my website. And most of this URL, they're coming because of this plugin. So I think among 105, there's so many URLs coming just because of this plugin. So if you go back here, and then we see not indexed because they're all submitted pages. And these pages, I don't want it to be indexed, but they are still somehow Google know about them. This is the issue of the plugin. Is it bad? Yes, it is not real nice, but you should not be panic about it. If the number is in thousands, yes, then you should be really worried about it. You should be thinking it might be possible there was a hack on the website or the plugin is really faulty. But usually for most of you guys, I will recommend you come here and click on all submitted pages and then you see the better picture. And now you start taking action on those pages. So now on my channel, I see so many comments about how we can fix feed pages and some search pages and archive pages where you have the yearly archive of your blog post from your website and these kind of pages. But what people don't understand is it's not about removing URLs from here because everything what is shown in Google Search Console is not an error. Google Search Console is created to give you better perspective about your website. For example, I have to click here on no index tag error. So you can see here there are two pages here, cart page and checkout pages, which are not indexed. They're not indexed because I don't want them to be indexed. And now people say, okay, we don't want to see these pages here in Search Console report. No, it is not about that guys. Everything which is shown here is not an error. It is just a way to understand your website because how you can track all the pages on your website, how they're performing, what are the issues with those pages or how you set them to be indexed or not indexed. So Google Search Console report gives you an overall global idea about pages on your website. You can see cart page and checkout page on my website are not indexed because I personally added no index tag on these pages. And that's working really well. That's why I can see here this page not indexed. So you do not need to worry about this thing. Because you set these pages not to be indexed. And what's happening here? They're showing here excluded by no index tag. So this is working real nicely. So it's not an error. Let's take some more example. Okay, if I click here on currently not index. Now you can see here, there's a page pricing page. Now I need to worry about this page because this page I want to be indexed on search engine, but it is not getting indexed. Then there are other pages also which should be indexed, but not getting indexed. Most of you will have this problem in crawl currently not index issues. Okay, what you need to do here is, for example, take any page. For example, this page, if we click on this glass icon, and now you can see the page is not indexed. It is already crawled, but currently not indexed. What you can do here is, first you can do is click on test live URL. And you can see URL is available to Google. In a lot of cases, guys, your URLs are already indexed on Google. Just the report is not refreshed. That's why it was showing before, not indexed on Google. But you can see here, when we did a live test, it is available to Google. 
So now you can see UI is available to Google and this page can be indexed to Google. You can see here everything is fine, page can be indexed and what else you can do really well, you can just copy this page, go to google.com and then paste this page. And now you see, you can see the page is showing here, it means it is indexed. Sometimes what happens, people just search here for keyword and then they don't see their page on the top and they say okay our page is not indexed, not about page not indexed. That means page is not ranking. Page not ranking and not indexed, they're two different things. Page is not indexed means Google is not showing this page in search results. Not ranking means Google is not showing this page on the top of the search results. So this is a little bit difference between those two things. Let's try to take some other example. Okay, for example, if I go here in no index tag, let's see what kind of pages we have here. This is another big problem. You can see we have this kind of URLs, S is equal to and then search term string. Then same here, search and then S is equal to search term string. They are not indexed because they are excluded by no index tag. Because I made these pages not to index on Google search results. Because these search results can be in thousands of numbers and then that can really make my Google search console report complicated. That's why I ask Google not to index these pages. I will little bit show you after how you can use the popular plugins like Rank Math or Yoast SEO plugin to use these kind of options properly. And if I go to crawl current not index, one more page I want to show you, the feed pages here, you can see here, they're not indexed because I set them not to be indexed. If the page is not indexed, they're still showing here, that's not an error, that's a good thing. So people think that they want to remove these feed pages from here, from this Google search console report. Guys, it doesn't work this way. You don't need to focus to remove pages from here. You need to focus on solving the issues. For example, this page feed page, I disabled it. It's not indexed on Google, that's I want it. So I do not need to too much worry about it. If I took the right action, which I'm going to explain you later in this video, how you can take the right action, then I don't need to worry about it. This page here, robots.txt file for blogger download, I should be taking action because this page should be indexed on Google and it is not indexed. Another feed page, I should not be worried about it because I did it. You can see the JavaScript file, they should not be indexed and why they're showing there, there's something wrong about it. So I need to check the plugin which is making this problem and take the necessary action. Okay, so I hope you understand that not everything shown in Google search result is an error and you always don't need to remove pages from search console report. Better, you need to fix some issues on your website and then if this still shows here, there's no issue. By the time the page will go away or there's some pages like checkout page or card page, they will be there to let you know how your website is working, how the pages are organized. So don't too much panic about it. I created a video about it. you can see all the important issues, 404 errors, no index error, duplicate canonical tag, discount can not index, soft errors, redact issues. So many videos I created about it, watch this video, I'll add the link in description to all those important videos. Okay, now let's talk about some important setting in Rank Math plugin and Yoast SEO plugin, what you should be doing for the best SEO, so you don't have so much errors here on your search console account. So if you're using Rank Math plugin guys, I say to go to titles and meta here, and then you can see here, you have multiple post types here. So when you see post here, make sure post meta is indexed. If it's not indexed, not a good thing, make sure it is indexed. Then same thing you do with pages, pages make sure you scroll, it should be indexed. And then you can see we have WP table tables, landing pages and products. You can have different options here because I'm using these two plugins, WP TB tables for creating tables and landing page to create landing pages. That's why they're showing here. In case you might not have this thing or you can have some other options here. There are products and then we have Elementor header and footer builder. If you're using a Elementor header and footer plugin, guys, make sure it is no index because I don't want this plugin pages to be indexed on Google because they're part of the page, they're header and footer, they're not the complete page. So make sure you check these kind of important things. I tell everybody when you go to tags, so in case of tags, I recommend keep it no index because tags are useful for your website internal functioning but not for search engine. You might have error of duplicate content. And same with product tags also, make sure they are not indexed. Product categories should be indexed, they are really important. Also the post categories, they should be indexed, they should always be indexed. Then you need to go here on miss pages, miscellaneous pages. So a lot of people ask this question where how they can remove this kind of URL with Google Search Console report. So the thing here is, make sure if dates robot meta is checked to no index, then they will not be indexed on Google, but they will be shown on your website. If you click on enable, when you disable all the data archives, somebody come to for this kind of URL, they will be redirected to home page. But if you want to use them, what you can do, you can click on enable and then make sure it is no index check here. So they are still used on website, but they are not sent to Google to be indexed in search result because again, you can have some issues. You can have this kind of URLs on your search console report. So make sure there's no index here. And then you scroll guys, make sure no index search result, it is enabled. You don't want to enable search results on Google because again, you will have thousands of pages, URL, 
which can make your search console report complicated and it is not advised to enable search result and then no index page needs single pages and no index password protected page they should be checked and once you're done click on save changes let's check on yoast seo plugin so in yoast seo plugin what you need to do is you can go to data archive and you can see here data archive is enabled same thing we talk in rank math in yoast seo it is in data archive you can use this option enable data archives and make sure it is unchecked option don't show data archive in search result and then you can do the same thing with author archive i have just one author website i don't use it but i know a lot of people want to use it so make sure you check this option and then disable this option because it also create this problem of duplicate content on the website some in most of cases you don't want this page to index on search engine yes you want this page to be shown on your website but not index on google so make sure it is unchecked there same thing you can do with format archives also make sure they are not unchecked here and then you need to click on crawl optimization so in crawl optimization guys you can have multiple option here you can use it depending on your choice normally you can leave the first option like this what you need to remove is you can remove the global rss feed which i recommend but if your website use a feed you do not you should not remove this option but people who want to remove feed they can check this option to remove global feed from their website and then you choose all the feed options from here then your author's feed i don't like it i remove it then i can remove all the feeds from my website I don't want them just add code to my website and I don't use them and then make sure this option is checked and then you can leave it like this and then guys make sure when you come here prevent crawling or internal size URLs make sure enable this option so that your search pages are not indexed on Google and then click on save changes if you want more information about all this topic you want to be master of Google search console and have the best SEO website and rank your website number one check the link in the description to all the important videos I'm 100% sure guys this video will really help you out if you get any value from this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel i will really, really appreciate that and when you subscribe to the channel it really boosts my morale and this video can reach to many more people for now check this important video on screen which will really improve your website seo and improve your search engine rankings